much, guys. No quit from the Nets tonight in their season opener, but they do fall short against the Detroit Pistons. We remember from last season, Sarah, a lot of close games where the Nets couldn't figure out ways to win, manufacture victories. They're a scrappy group. They're going to find themselves in competitive games throughout the season, and they're going to look to change their fortunes from a year ago. Yeah, and it's one thing uh, about missing shots or not hitting some of those game-winning shots, but you want to get the quality looks. You want to make sure that you're putting yourself in position to have a chance to win a ball game. And I think more than just the final few possessions of this game, Kenny Atkinson is going to talk to his guys and look at a whole of the things yeah. that they must clean up. 21 second chance points for Detroit, 26 points off of turnovers for the Pistons. And those were two areas that really changed the complexion of the game, especially in the second half that had uh, Brooklyn working out of a hole to get themselves back in the game. This is one of those games where they saw two players really step forward on the offensive end, Karras Levert and Spencer Dinwiddie. D'Angelo Russell was not a big part of this in the fourth quarter. Joe Harris made a big shot to keep the Nets in it, to cut it to one. That's had a chance to take the lead down the stretch, but Levert turned it over, and then a last-ditch effort by Harris was off the mark. Yeah, and tough was Karis Levert, given the game that he had put together, not getting a chance to get a shot off in that final possession. But for Karis Levert and Spencer Dinwiddie, it was excellent to see how in which they were able to utilize the ball screens, the pick-and-rolls, work with Jared Allen, a lot of the cutting and ball movement of this Nets team at moments throughout the game, but it was an attack-mindedness because for the Nets, we know that they're going to continue putting up three-point shots, yep. and they struggled mightily, 5 of 27, just over 18% from the three-point line. So in order to get those driving lanes, in order for the floor to be open, you got to start knocking down some of those three-point shots. Underman Nets team, what do they take away from this as they prepare for the Knicks on Friday night? I think it's just the ability to be as locked in throughout the course of 48 minutes as they were in the start of the ball game. And that's a, a big aspect of when you point to turnovers or loose balls on the floor, or some of the defensive rotations that were off. How can you make sure to stay as mentally focused and allow yourself the best position to win ball games because you're doing some of those little things? Because that's what they're going to need to do. We know they have the heart. We know they have the hustle. But you got to make sure you maintain that throughout the course of the entire game. The Nets have now lost six consecutive regular season openers. That's the story here in Detroit.